Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at the new Hogwarts Castle Boathouse Lego set. This is set 76426 Hogwarts Castle Boathouse with 350 pieces and is ages 8 plus. It comes with a total of 5 minifigures which is great and it retails for... I'll put it on the screen. So this Lego set is part of the brand new most detailed Lego Hogwarts Castle ever that we will be getting that Lego has again unveiled. This is like our we have had several Lego Harry Potter castles. This one in modern times being the third one that's coming out that's like a modular build or a, a piece by piece set. So all we have so far is the Owlery and this boathouse, which are, I will admit, two sets we have not gotten before. So I think it is a good idea for Lego to have started off with those sets, a couple that we've never seen before that people have probably wanted. I and mean, we don't really see the boathouse a lot, but it is definitely there and it's actually a pretty cool rendition. So I like it for that. But let's go ahead and get into the minifigures. Starting with McGonagall here and her list of students, which is really cool. You see everybody that's included in the set that is a student. But this is a very slightly updated version of McGonagall with just a little bit of better printing. Um, she's pretty much perfected. That hair piece with the hat combo is so good. And then all the printing down the back of her skirt is just wonderful. And then she does have a double-sided face. She does have a double-sided face which is a little bit more stern. Oops, that's McGonagall though. Checking out Hermione next, and she is actually a new minifigure because she has that triple molded leg and the skirt piece, which is really cool. You can kind of just see it right up there. Triple molded leg, almost excessive, but very detailed, I will say. And then that plastic skirt, which we have seen in other sets, but used in this way makes her a brand new minifigure. And then she has her unsorted robes as well as a secondary face which looks scared, as well as a hat on the back. There's her. Then we have Neville Longbottom. I do believe that he is new as well with this new face print and the unsorted robes, of course. We've never seen him wear that uniform before. There's the back and then his secondary face. Super cute little buck teeth there, adorable. And here we have Harry Potter, unsorted. I do believe we've gotten him unsorted before, but the robe might be new. I'd have to confirm after the fact, but he does have a secondary like scared looking face. We've gotten Harry a million times, so nothing new there. Always good to get another Dean Thomas in a short leg form. Very cute. I love his mouth on this minifigure. There is his unsure face. The only thing that I think would have been better if they could have include Seamus Finnegan. He would have gone well in this set. I did also want to note the animals in the set. We get Hedwig, a crab, Trevor the toad, a spider, and a blue fish. All right, so for the price, it does seem relatively expensive. It has quite a few minifigures, which definitely has that going for it, but the build itself is very small. As you can tell, it is just literally a little boathouse. You can float a boat into it. Just one though, unfortunately, it does come with two, but the boats do fit in. I love the dark navy elements for the water with some translucent blue wedges to show like moving water. We have a little fish on the side though. I do believe that the clamp for the fish would have actually been better in blue. It would have stuck out less to me, but they made it in white for some reason. We have a little bit of foliage here on the roof and the tree and then have a little bit of uh, fauna here with the, the spider and the crab on the other side. We got a couple of animals, of course, the mushroom, a little bit of a rocky edge, which looks really nice. Same thing on here as well as a little perch for the owl. You could put two if you wanted to, and that looks really nice, actually. I like that quite a bit. On the inside, there's not a whole lot to see except a couple of oars, and like I said, you can park the boat inside. It is very hard to access with adult fingers, especially getting those oars to stay in their like little cavities on the wall. The other thing that is kind of neat is up on this tower in the back, we have a spot for a portrait. This is one of those sets that comes with a portrait, and this one looks really good. This one is Sir Duggan, which is actually a really cool character to get in portrait form because he's a very large part of the Prisoner of Azkaban book series, at least not so much in the movie, but it's very cool nonetheless. You can see him poking out the front here, so you can change that portrait up if you like. And then the other thing that is relatively neat is on the side here, it is Trevor the Toad. He's just clipped in with this little rock formation here, and it is when Neville finds Trevor, and he is in this really nice olive green color for a toad and that just hides away in there. You could put other secrets in there if you wanted to, but that's basically it. It is very simple. The boat builds themselves are, again, they're 
they're fine. They're just simple and you can't really fit more students in because of there, there's no studs to connect them, unfortunately. But the light is an interesting build with the little black sausage as the, the handle. It's pretty funny. And yeah, you can fit two students per boat. Of course, you can get a fleet of these if you buy this set a couple of times, but you will get, you know, it's not really one that you'd army build, but you can easily remake these boats. I would say there's nothing specific about them, but they look pretty cool. And then we get all the characters in their pre-sorted outfits, which is also cool if you want to like build up your Hogwarts castle with other students, you can use those bodies. The addition of McGonagall in her very, very slightly updated form is also very neat. And overall, definitely a set that people could pass on, but if you're interested on now building this new most detailed Hogwarts castle ever, you might want this set. I definitely wanted it because it's not something that we've had before. And so anything that's like a new building to go to my Hogwarts castle currently, I'm like all for it. But that's basically it, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Till next time, I will catch y'all later. Bye.